Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. And there's the opening bell. Round number one, scheduled for four. This one is expected to be a thriller. In this fight, of course, we have a fighter who has yet to taste defeat. You're the opponent opposite him. What's your mindset? It's always the first time. And that's exactly what it has to be. Yeah, he has the great confidence that nobody's beaten him, but you're going to say, hey, you know what? Everybody does something for the first time. I'm going to be that guy. There he is, landing a combo. Fires right back at him. How does that happen? How is throwing a hook somehow a defensive detriment? If you get fat with it, if you throw it from too far away, a little bit too wide, you leave an opening for a straight right hand. Straight beats hooks. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. wasn't able to land. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. End of the round here. And you can see that label of volume puncher was made for this guy as the punch stats prove true. Yeah, he doesn't care really where he hits you. It makes you think of those stories you used to hear in the old days. Maybe your grandfather, maybe your father talked about Rocky Marciano. Loved that guy, former heavyweight champ of the world. He'd hit you anywhere. He didn't care. Back of the head, he hit you on the arms, and he started breaking you down. This guy doesn't care. He just throws. Well, the quick read on this guy, if you watch this fight so far, is that he just doesn't jab enough. And that's the most basic thing in the world. You need that punch to make everything else happen. Doubling up the jab now. Crashes home with the uppercut. Let's see some more head Good exchange. He fires back. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. Uppercut! Uppercut! Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Please keep that hand moving. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Right on the mark, double jab. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me, like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're gonna have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is gonna wind up not standing at the end. Well, he's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No, he understands and his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover, and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. Good, strong combo. Now, this is exactly what I love about an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. Now hugging on the inside. Very accurate with the double jab. Keep smart. This is it. Last round, right? Keep it smart. You've got it. They meet up one more time. The last round has arrived. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Good combination landing there. That worked 
jumped out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Missed the target with that hook. Nice work with the uppercut. Good looking uppercut that time. And he returns on that exchange. A barrage of punches that time. Good combination. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want one at a time. You want three or four. A little give and take, and here comes... Did you see that? And he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. Now he has to get up. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. How about that? One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. All landing. Oh, and he's got something for him himself. And it's a left hand. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can he get up from this? He's done it before. But can he get up from a second time down? He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on a post office board. Most wanted poster. Yes, sir. Now, right now, what we want is to hear those obvious scorecards, so let's send it up to the ring. Seemed like he was destined to win throughout the fight. Teddy, your scorecard showed that, and the judges agree. Unanimous decision. Yeah, he was destined to win because he kept using that jab all night long and outworking his opponent. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.